you have a history of addiction with Vicodin and, and marijuana, uh, and you said you drink six days a week. Yeah. And your average alcohol consumption daily, you say you drink the equivalent of 13.5 shots. Well, I never counted it by shots, but. Well, I did. I figured. So weekly, uh, that's 81 shots. Monthly, that's 351 shots. Annually, that's 4,212 shots or 6,318 ounces. Let me, let me show you exactly what that looks like. Now, I was conservative in my count, but this is your description, not theirs or mine. This is your description. This is what you drink in six months. Here's what you drink in a year. Well, I didn't bring out the beer. This is just the alcohol, the, the hard liquor. This is, these are 32 ounces, and you're, you're drinking, you're drinking two-thirds of this a day. Two-thirds per alcohol? But she's not doing it in the morning, so. <laughs> so everything's okay then. So no problem. Two thirds of this a day, and you want to tell a me straight liquor? Yeah. You can sometimes drink a whole bottle, Mom. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Seriously? That's when I drink that much every day. We did our first interview with you at three o'clock in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. you, you don't even remember it. Yes, I do. I don't remember talking to one, another one later. But that was Thursday. Well, I'm just saying. I didn't drink Monday. Tuesday, you said you had three beers and two vodka lemonades. Mm -hmm. Wednesday, you just got out of control. Thursday, you don't even remember. I need different coping skills because that's not how I want to be. I don't want to be drunk. You say that you're doing it because of them. I own it. I'm doing it. it but doesn't the pain that why. I'm feeling, what how they make me feel, is why I do it. But I already said that, I own it. It's my choice to drink. You're making the choice to kill yourself with alcohol. Because I don't know any other way. And you, you are absolutely ridiculous if you're living through this and telling her she's not an alcoholic. What the hell are you thinking? If you care about her, if you care about her, and you care about her future, and you care about her health, and you care about her family, why are you not telling her the truth? Oh, I, the way I look at it, I, I think she's not. That's idiotic. <laughs> you can't believe that. Oh, I do. Just based on what you admit, not what others allege, but just on what you admit, you are a severe alcoholic. You're not a borderline alcoholic. You're not maybe yes, maybe no. You are a severe alcoholic, which means you're putting your health and well-being at risk. And the fact that you're not telling her the truth, you're either clueless or just simply don't want to disrupt the apple cart here and lose your drinking buddy. I don't know what is going on with you.